and welcome back to the program. We continue uh, with the show, and right about now, we start our segment Beyond uh, Grief. You know it as widows and widowers, but we are going beyond that because it's not just about widows and widowers alone in society. There's a lot, a lot of different types of grief. And today, like I told you when we were starting the show, it's all about the grief of losing a child. What do you go through as a mother, as parents who've lost their child? What are some of the things that they go through? What are some of the things that they are told that we shouldn't be telling them? How do we come in to support, you know, whoever is around us that has lost a child or if it has happened to you? What are some of the things that you need to do to heal emotionally and also to move on if in case you want to really, really start that journey of becoming a parent again? So today in studio, that is what we will be focusing on. My name is Safina Achingoma. Of course, I will not be doing this alone, Diana Kadoni. Karibu sana to the program. Thank you very How much. How are you doing? Very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very chilly today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm doing great. And uh, for me, I'm happy to be here, of course. And the conversation for me, actually, today, I had to tell myself you cannot cry. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, because it's quite, uh, it's quite, for someone who is a parent, it's something you don't want to go through. Mm -hmm. And as much as sometimes we understand that grief is, uh, is personal, it's a, it's, it's a community, you know, it's, it's supposed to be for the community to help the person deal mm -hmm. with grief. Mm -hmm. So for me today, I'm looking forward to the conversation. It's very enlightening and, and very insightful. And I know we will have a, a good time as, as we find a way forward on how to deal with the loss of children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, of course, we have two amazing ladies who've joined us uh, for this particular conversation. And it's a, it's, it's a mixture of both the help that Somebody will be telling us the help that we need to, to be able to give victims of this particular situation, as well as somebody who's worn that shoe, and she really understands what it really means to mm -hmm. lose a child. And she's lost five children? Is it five? Buried five. Buried five, five yes. children. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Her name is Margaret. Margaret is a mother of two currently. She's mm -hmm. had eight C-sections, like eight. You know, doctors say, <laughs> doctor say you can't go beyond four, but she's had eight. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she was sharing with us earlier that it's all because of that thirst to have a child. You know, you have a child, you lose mm -hmm. that baby, and you want to have a child again and again and again. And you reach a point where you risk even after knowing that it's dangerous mm -hmm. for you, your, your life. And she will be telling us more about her story, as well as we're joined by a professional counselor by the name Grace Handeritu. And thank you so much, Grace, for joining us this morning. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm a marriage and family therapist. Mm -hmm. And I have worked with uh, families and women who have lost children. And we know it's not an easy journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad to be here to see what we can help the public mm -hmm. understand. All right. Yeah. Good to have you. And thank you so much thank for creating you. time. Probably let's start the conversation now. Yes. Your quick thoughts about today's topic what comes into your mind when you hear that mm -hmm. grief of a child loss of a child what, right. what comes into your mind as a counselor um i think about uh when when i think about grief grieving the loss of a child i think in terms of losing a future losing hope mm -hmm. losing dreams mm -hmm. losing um, th more than just the child. There is a lot of loss that happens with a, with, with a parent who loses a child. And I don't think we really kind of understand what that person goes through. Mm -hmm. And I also think about the trauma, the trauma that happens with that mother. I have carried this baby, I'm bonded. I have bonded, I have a nursery, I have, I have bought things, and I'm mm -hmm. thinking about all of that. And then the, the anxiety that comes after that. You know, if she gets pregnant again, the anxiety, am I going to lose this baby? Then we are talking about also feeling helpless, feeling unsafe, mm -hmm. feeling vulnerable, and there is nobody to protect me because people do not know how to deal with a, with a mother who, ha who has lost a child. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's the same as losing another person like a spouse, you know? Um, I would say this one is much deeper. Mm -hmm. This is this is much deeper. If you lose a, 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 a because this one is more like your heart. You have lost really something that is very deep within mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And I think with a spouse, I'm not uh, trying to to minimize the pain of losing a spouse, mm -hmm. but uh, a spouse you can get another one. Uh, um, um, our friend here, Margaret, very, very brave young woman. Margaret is a mother of eight. 
Yes. But yes. you know, we see her as a mother of two. Of two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so even be, being able to accept and acknowledge that and allow her to embrace the babies that she has, she has lost, mm -hmm. that she has gone through this process eight times. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean that she's a mother of two. She's a mother of eight. Giving her permission to embrace all the children she's had. Mm -hmm. That is a healing in itself. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. I open as we begin this conversation. Margaret, mm -hmm. once again, I would say this and until the end of the program, you're very strong. You're a very strong lady. Yeah. Tell us a bit about yourself. Okay. I'm Margaret Wajobe. I'm a mother of two. And I'm living single. Mm -hmm. After Kupitia Meg Sana, mm -hmm. I decided to stay as a single lady because of the woods, because of the pains that I've gone through. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got married when I was very young. Mm -hmm. I was 16 years old. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very really young. Yeah. yeah, I was 16 years old. Na kama mtu anavi olewa, unafikiri yanga ama ile kitu inakuanga kwa maindi yako ni kuwa, mm -hmm. unaenda kuansia mambo mapya mm -hmm. katika familia yeah. Yeah. na watu wengi ufikiria ni kuwa umeenda ama mawaso ya mtu muambia ya kuwa, unaenda kuansia fulaha. Mm -hmm. yeah, mdoa mm -hmm. ni fulaha. Mdoa ni fulaha. Mm -hmm. Iyo ndiyo ilikuwa kwa maindi yangu, yeah. mm -hmm. lakini si kujua ya kuwa, kuna yani bitterness itakuwa mingi kuliko furaha. Okay. Mm. Okay. We, wakati niliolewa nilipata miba immediately. Mm. Mm -hmm. Na after three months nika develop pain kwa left. Mm -hmm. Kwa mguu ya left hapa chini. Ah uh, kwenda kwa clinic nikaambiwa ya kuwa is emergency. Nikatafutiwa ambulance na nikapelekwa Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Pale nilipopelekwa Kenyatta nikaambiwa ya kuwa niko na ectopic pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Na after scan nikaambiwa hiyo mchiba ni kama imebust. So ni emergency. Mm -hmm. Nilipelekwa theater mini theater emergency na nikafanyiwa upasuaji pale walitoa mpaka mshiba okay. kwa sababu ilikuwa imebust. Na nilikuwa nimebreed done vibaya sana. Mm -hmm. So walitoa ni wakasema ya kuwa hata hii mshimba ingine ni kama imekuwa affected mm. so ni kumu sana kupata mtoto mm. na nikaambiwa hivyo mm -hmm. so nilienda nyumbani nikijua ni kumu kwangu kupata mtoto mm -hmm. lakini nilikuwa napenda mungu nilikuwa ni miokoka nikaulisa mungu maswali mingi sana kama ulikuwa umepanga sitapata mtoto bona umekumbali ni bebe mipa mm. So nilienda process ya kupona nikaenda kem kwa research na waka unblock him shimba ingine ilikuwa blocked. Mm -hmm. Pale pale nikapata mimba after six months. Mm -hmm. Ile mimba nilipata ni ilika kwa tumbo kitu kama seven months. After seven months nika develop tena pain kwa kitofu. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na ida kinyata. Mm -hmm. Nilipo enda pale wakaangalia wakasema uh, ni emergency. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu yule mtoto ni membemba, ni mgojo na akona shida. Mm -hmm. So, watatreat hii uchungu ishe, liyo mm -hmm. waewese kupasua watuwe mtoto. Mm -hmm. Nilika for three weeks, nilienda nikiwa na seven month, one week. So, indifikisha eight month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Waka kutua yule mtoto. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu wariona mtoto ni mgojo, lakini siku elesoa ni mgojo wa, mka, wa inagani. Mm -hmm. So, after kutua mtoto na kupeleka ya nursery, nikafichwa mtoto for three days. Mm -hmm. Hau kumuona? Ah, ah. Jiwa na shidwa, mm. uyu ni mdogo. Ni mtoto unaelesea mabo ya mtoto. Oh, mm. Ni mtoto ni mkoto. Lakini nika insiste sana. Nika mm. sema, kama mtoto alikufa mniambie. Mm. Lakini mkinueka hapa mna niongesea mawaso. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, nika letua psychiatrist, haka niongeresa sana. Nika letua daktali wa watoto, haka niambia Margaret. Ah, mtoto ni mkojo, lakini utachukulianzi kama mtoto, tutakwambia ubongo iko ije. Utamkumbali, kamambia ya. Mm. What if atakuwa na uh, spine iko ije? Mm -hmm. Nitakubali. Mm -hmm. Tutakupeleka nasari, lakini ukue ready. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu mtoto ni mkojo, mm -hmm. na ni 50-50 kuhishi. Mm -hmm. So, mimi nipo pele kwa pale nasari, mtoto alikuwa msuli sana kwa uso mpaka kwa kifua lakini kutoka hapa amefunikwa mm. funuliwa nikaambiwa 
nikaulisa kwa nikauliza mlisema ubongo iko hizi nikaambiwa hapana mm -hmm. tulikwambia what if mm -hmm. utapata maana mm -hmm. unaona ako sawa kichwa iko sawa nikageusa hivi mgongo nikaona ako sawa nilipofunuliwa tumbo nilistuka mm -hmm. na nika faint mm -hmm. na nikaanguka na nikaenda in coma. Mm. Your husband alikuwa wapi at that time? Mm -hmm. Yeye alikuwa amekuja na akaonyeshwa mtoto. Eh. Si unaona Nasari wanaonea kwa kio mm. na amefunikwa lakini hakuonyeshwa ndio asikuje kunielezea. Mm. So mimi ndiye nilimbrikia news. So after kukaa nilipeleka kwa ICU lakini after kukaa kama 8 hours nikajisikia na nikarudishwa immediately Nasari. Mm. Umeona tena? Yeah. Yeah. Daktari akanielezea ya kuwa mtoto akona ukitu inaito omphalosin mm. na nitritable. Mm -hmm. Lakini hui mtoto atafanyua upasuaji after six months. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu hii matumbo iko inje. Mm -hmm. Lakini walikuwa mejaribu kufunika jia infection kidogo. Mm -hmm. okay. So after kukaa kitu wa month naenda na muona mtoto ni maji tu Kulika na oxygen. Kulika hospitali ama ulienda nyumbani? Haa, niko nyumbani, nyumba, niko hospitali. Mm -hmm. So, after kukaa, nikaona mtoto ni kama ana improve. Lakini after six weeks, haka develop jodes, haka wa yero. Mm -hmm. Nikaambiwa ni infection juu ya ile mm -hmm. shida hako na ayo. Mm -hmm. So, haka funikuwa macho na haka ingiswa kwa hiyo phototherapy ya kuchoma. After kuchoma for kitu two weeks, aditoka. Lakini nikaambiwa huyu mtoto bado haja improve. Lakini uh, nitapelekwa nita, nita, nita rudishwa kwa ward mm -hmm. na yeye atapelekwa ICU. Kwa sababu hii mm -hmm. anasari ni kama mm -hmm. shida yake haiabatani na vyenye mm -hmm. nasire machini siko huko. So akapelekwa ICU na nikarudishwa kitu after two month. Na tukaenda nyumbani lakini nikaambiwa every day akuwa anafanywa dressing. Mm -hmm. So nilienda nilikuwa naenda kwa clinic anafanywa dressing tunarundi. After kukaa 4 days nikaona ai makojo ni yero. Macho yero. Mm -hmm. Kila kitu mm -hmm. nikamrudisha mm -hmm. pale clinic. Kwenda clinic ni ambulance Kenyatta ICU tena. Alikaa huko sana. Hadi kafikia wakati tunawekwa mm -hmm. kwa room yeah. naambiwa mm -hmm. sasa na tayarisho psychologically mm -hmm. huyu mtoto mm -hmm. Lansake ni kama sime afetua na hii jodes mm. na vinyi anapumua ayuko sawa. Mm -hmm. So tulika hivo mpaka four month. Tukua tumelea na ye miya subu imoza ni liyamuka ni kapata mtoto ayuko. Mm -hmm. So kuenda kuita nas, nas ya kaniambia tulijua kitu five. Lakini atu getaka kumtoa mahari huko. Tulikuwa tunataka utuambie diyo ukubali. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Mm. Oh. So nikaongereshwa immediately nikapiga simu nyumbani tukapanga na juu tulikuwa tumekaa sana hospitali mm. tulienda tukasika immediately the same same day. Okay. Mm. Na nikarudi nikakaa. Sasa so, after kukaa kitu uh, mwaka mmoja nikajipata ni kwa mjamu msito. Mm. Na kidogo mm -hmm. all this time madaktari wanasema sosi ya ini nini? Awajajua, sasa unajua ile ilikuwa ectopic, hiyo mm -hmm. ni kitu inajulikana kupata miba ya mshiba ni kama kawaida tu. Mm -hmm. Na hii sasa ni ugonjwa ectopic. Mm -hmm. So hakuna maswali, mm -hmm. ni hii ugonjwa imemalisa mtoto. Okay. Okay. So after kupata hii miba ya tatu, uh, siku na shida. Lakini nipo fikisha 8 month, 1 week, chungu ikakuja. Mm -hmm. Tumlikuwa mefanyu upasuaji sinke pewa chance ya kupata nomo. So nilipelekwa, nikafanyu upasuaji. Na wakatoa mtoto, akapelekwa na asadi. Halipo pele kwa pare na asadi, akakaa hiyo siku ya kwanza. Nikapata anapumua vibaya, nikaulisa daktari kwa nini. Haka niambia, ah, ni primachua lakini tuta, mm. haina shida, mm. ni distress tu itaisha. Mm -hmm. The next day kuheda, nikapata, ai, vienye likuwa anapumua leo imesidi. Anapumua unaona hapa ni kama mm. inagogana kabisa. Mm. Nikaambiwa, si unajua likuwa anasoya kupumuliwa na wewe. So, Lazima strago. Mm -hmm. Ay, lakini nikaona hapa, hakuna hopu. Yuku pumua hapana. So, okay, jioni, kuenda jioni, mm -hmm. mimi nilipata mtoto mali nikuwa nimemuata, hayuko. Nikaulisea daktari yako wapi. Oh, ni Margaret. Kuja, unapele kwa hivi hivi, nikanjua hapa kuna kitu baya. So, nilipiga mm -hmm. simu imiji tri. Mm -hmm. Nikasema hawa, kama wameimba mtoto, mimi sijui. 
lakini mm. niliacha mtoto sijampata natumwa huko natumwa huko mm. so manda moja akaona nikiongea na simu akakuja akaniambia Margaret unavaa tu uamini hivyo ndivyo iko mm. kamuuliza aje ujaambiwa sasa naye akanipeleka kwa Matron mm. Matron akanielezea nikamuuliza na shida ni gani hiyo ni distress tu ai nikasema hapana mtoto wa tatu so after kwenda nyumbani kukaa kitsi kukaa sana nilipata mimba na ikatoka lakini ilitoka juu ya stress this is the fourth one yeah ilitoka juu ya stress si kukaa sana nikapata mimba nyingine alafu sasa maswali imeanzia ya tano sasa yeah vinye ninjua niko na mimba immediately nilianza kugojeka na anguka kichwa aishi nilikuwa naanguka and unaanguka kila mahali mpaka kichwa ilikuwa imechimbuka juu ya unaanguka unapata mawe inakuumiza mm. lakini ni distress alafu familia inasema hapana wewe kwenu kwani umelogwa mm. ama ni kwenu hatujai uenda kwenu the uyo pregnancy ya tano ili survive hapana yeah. mtoto nilipata mtoto through yes akakaa one week akakufa the same same wewe wa pili huyu wa anafuata alikufa uh -huh atini distress anapumua vibaya mm -hmm. hey, mambo ikakuwa mbaya mm -hmm. ikakuwa sasa tuende kwetu nikapelekewa mahali tukarudi venye nilipata mimba hiyo ingine ai nikaona hapana unasikia ndani yako alafu umepitia mm -hmm. hivi sasa najiuliza what if ili singepata mimba what if nitapata huyu mtoto akufa mm -hmm. na kama mwenye alikufa waliongea mm -hmm. itakuwa aje ndarudi mm -hmm. kwako Margaret mm -hmm. uh, it's really a touching story that right. she's sharing with us you know losing mm -hmm. one child is one thing yeah. but if it goes on as a series then mm -hmm. that is something that not a normal human being can be able to be strong and tell the story today right. she's very strong yes. to, to just be here to be yeah. sharing with us mm. but i don't know from your end grace what mm. to understand the psychology of a mother who mm. has lost a child mm. the way they are treated at the hospital the right. way they are received by the families right. uh, are we do you think we are there yet what is it that we are supposed to do um no we are not there yet mm -hmm. um there is a lot of work that we need to do we need to be able to of course understand even us the the death of a child and a, you know multiple children to the same mother yeah. even for us it's traumatizing and so i don't even know what to say to her so avoidance becomes one of the things that we do yeah. we yeah. avoid <laughs> telling them the truth we avoid giving information hoping that we it's almost like uh, you know wanting to delay the pain mm -hmm. because we are also very sensitive to the uh, what it will happen to her but but um what what i'm thinking and and i I, I would have to sit with Margaret and understand you know her psychology her emotional and what she was thinking through all of this mm -hmm. but I would imagine there is a numbness that happens mm -hmm. that you become numb to the to the pain mm -hmm. you become numb to to all this that is happening and you see she's talking about with the uh, with uh, with this um, uh, was it the fourth the fourth pregnancy where you were having um, fainting spells Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you know <laughs> falling mm -hmm. yeah falling because again the anxiety kicked in now the this baby levels. i'm going to i'm going the, the, yeah the stress level but but really the fear of the unknown mm -hmm. that yeah. this is going yeah. to happen again i'm going to carry this baby to term mm -hmm. and it's going to happen again just like the mm -hmm. other baby yeah. so even her emotional health is not is not in a, in in a, in, a, in good mm -hmm. in a good place mm -hmm. so what i would say probably the hospital or the doctor who's who's treating her and knows her history First and foremost, they immediately she becomes, she goes through this, she needs to be sent to counseling, mm -hmm. to uh, intensive trauma counseling mm -hmm. so that after the first. yes after the first baby mm -hmm. the second baby and and for her mm -hmm. she needed really a uh, psychological a lot of psychological support mm -hmm. so that she can be able to plow through all of this and then and then also after after she has given birth to to these babies again more support more psychological counseling mm -hmm. and and really supporting her because again her family even though they are there they are not even understanding even support for the family mm -hmm. support for her husband mm -hmm. you know psychological yeah. support for all of this because they this is this is trauma it's not just how do they even deal with the fear because it sounds more like she had yes. a lot of fear yeah she, it was her fifth baby right she was already too scared like why oh, i can't be pregnant again you exactly know? what will happen how do they actually deal with the fear or what can we the family yeah. 
yes. help in help them in dealing with the fear. Right, I, and this is now where we we are working with her. We are and now, and I'm sure that she had support with mm -hmm. people. And mm -hmm. yeah, before before you tell mm -hmm. us, I was about to engage her on yes, that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Margaret, I don't know what sort of support system did you get? Wakati ulikuwa na PTI yoyote over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I know umetuambia kwamba there was a time people started asking questions mm -hmm. and blame for one, two, three things here mm -hmm. and there. But mm -hmm. there has to be something that was happening around that time that kept you going, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Until today you're here to tell us the story. Until today you, you, you are a mother mm -hmm. and, and then you're taking care of your children, the two children you have. What is it that kept you going, your source of strength? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's even hard yeah. to tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, Niku Mukusema Lakini. Mama ngu kwa sasa ayun support sana, okay. ari niongeresha sana, mm -hmm. na kakuniambia ya kuwa, kama nilikusa mm -hmm. na nikakulea, ata wewe, siku moja ya mini utalea mtoto wangu, mm -hmm. na hiyo mm -hmm. maneno yake ilitimia, mm -hmm. kwa sababu na lea na nikona watoto wangu. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, kuna mama ari niongeresha sana, sana, sana. Mm -hmm. Tulijua na tuki miujisa hipo, na haka niongeresha sana. Uyu alinisaidia kupona mm -hmm. na kujikubali. Mm -hmm. Na that's why nilikuwa tu na jipush. Mm -hmm. Margaret ninawesa. Mm -hmm. Wacha vini wanasema yes. Watasema mm -hmm. lakini mimi na jijua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watasema nimelogwa. Yes. Mm. Lakini mimi najitia ngufu na sema mm. Hakuna mtu anawesa niloga mm. Kama kuna mtu ya nge niloga Nge niloga nisipate mimba mm. Lakini mm. kama nimepata mimba mm. Mimi sijalogo mm. Na hakuna mwenye anawesa Yani nilijitia ngufu kabisa mm. Na nika keep kuambia God Mungu kama ulinipea mimba Mimi najua wandi nitashika mtoto wangu mm. Na siyo kushika tu yeah. Nitalea mm. Mm. So Ununa after kurusu yu watano Marriage ili break mm. Of course mm. yeah na ikaisha mm. na irisha fani juu mimi ni mshana niletewa akiwa na mimba na nikaambiwa huyu die ata mm. tusaria oh, mm. okay. your husband uh -huh. brought a new alileta na my mother in law oh. oh. huyu die ata tusaria mm. na kijana nikamuuliza umekubali mm. yes amekubali okay Ume, na kupenda lakini umepitia mingi sana mm. Mm. for the sake of your health kubali tu mm -hmm. mkae mkiba wawili mm. nikamuuliza 23 years mko wawili already nikuwe bibi wa kwanza na bibi wa pili mhm akaniambia wewe ni mgonjwa kichwa kwanza nitakupeleka upone mhm juma mama yangu naona ampelekani vizuri una mtu wa kupikia kukuongelesha na kupeleka kwenu upone lakini si kujua ya kuyo ndio ilikuwa mwisho ya marriage nikwenda kupona na kupona kabisa ni kone huko so after there nikakaa na nikakaa nikakaa 4 years mwaka ya tano, nika after kuongelesho sana na kujikubali mm -hmm. nikapata na jamaa na nikaolewa tena mm -hmm. wow wow <laughs> <laughs> lakini nikamwambia ni ngumu sana kwangu kupata mtoto oh, mm -hmm. is he now the father of your two yeah na ndio mzo eh ndio baba ya watoto wawili sasa e, na nikamwambia hapana mimi Mm -hmm. In fact is yes pata mtoto apone mimi usawa watoto wakikufa. Mm. Hey. Mm. Kama unanikumbali unikumbali. Mm. Hey. Kama unanikataa unikataa. Mm. Aliona ni kama nimechisi. Mm. Nilimpeleka kwa yule mama alikuwa ananiongeresha. Mm. Akamwambia yes. Akutosheka nikampeleka nyumbani. Mm. Akasema ni sawa. Lakini wow. akasema hii ikuwe kati yetu sisi. Mm. Isije kwa familia yetu mm. juu wow. kubali. Mm. Wow. Because I think it great man. It was Syrian one. What is it? 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 nikaka na nikapata mimba ingine mm. immediately nilianza kuojeka mm. vinye mm. nilinjua niko na mimba 3 weeks hiyo mm. siku nilinjua nilala kwa ward yeah. yeah. ni hiyo mm. uoga tu una, 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 una maswali what if, mm. what if? Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. so how did you what was the experience like right now you have two children <laughs> <laughs> what changed about your story <laughs> what 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 is different 
Ocha tuseme, yeah. si madaktari wa richeti, mm -hmm. si madawa, mm -hmm. na si binadamu. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa tu mpango ya mungu. Mm -hmm. wow, wow. Ya, yeah. mm -hmm. alinifunga tu vya nyalikuwa hamefunga salai. Uh -huh. yeah. Wakati ukafika. Yeah. Ukafika. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. yeah. 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 Kwa sababu huyo mtoto mwenye nilipitia kulazo hospitali, nilipitia shida nikiwa na hiyo mimba. Mm -hmm. Juni rificha hata kuambia daktari ni kona mimba. Mm -hmm. Naenda hospitali na dungwa shidano. Alimemba ni dungwa shidano ikiwa three months. Mm -hmm niko mgojwa mm -hmm. nilidungwa shidano iko na sulfa nikafula mwili wote mm -hmm. nikaenda mpaka ICU mm -hmm. na sisemi niko na mimba mm -hmm. alafu daktari wangu alikuwa ameniambia ni ngumu sana juu mshiba ime block mm -hmm. so after kuamka kutoka ICU after kuenda kuende kupitia endoscopy nilikuwa mm -hmm. na sita ya kwenda haja nini ndio nilimwambia nifanyie mm -hmm. scan daktari okay. okay. kaniambia can't be pregnant Margaret mm -hmm. can't be <laughs> tubes ime block ime block yenye ilibaki remember mm. uko na tube moja mm. nikufanyia scan ime block nikamwambia doctor kama unifanyie scan mm -hmm. yeah alistuka you were kwa ICU mm. ile mandawa ulitumia mm. ulikuwa theater tukakufanyia endoscopy mm. ile mandawa umetumia hata mtoto isikaa kwa tubu na ulibeba mtoto full term nilibeba for 8 months akatolewa uh -huh. uh -huh. after kutolewa i was shocked kupata mtoto kwa kitanda mahali nimelala mm. nikauliza daktari daktari kuamka huyu ni wangu eh <laughs> dona chakula wow. kwa nasari mm. kwa sawa mm. so exactly. was like yeah. akifanya kitu mhm daktari akamuiza yeah 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 Exactly. Na kaka unaita daktari wa clinic. Hebu kuja anapumua bisiri. Mm. <laughs> Said as we talk ako 7 years wow. in class 2. Wow. Mm. Ako sawa kabisa. The other one ako class. Ako 9 months. 9 months. Mm. Oh, wow, yes. you have a 9 month old. Yeah. Yeah. You look good. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, for me mother. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So it's really I don't know. I wish yeah. we had more time. Yeah, I think we may have to, we, we may have to have them back again especially mm. uh, Grace because mm. we've not covered much on yeah. on how to act actually know how do you deal with prolonged grief right you know if right. a couple what what can they do to make sure that they do not draw apart yes you know yes. if you're a couple yeah so i think those are things we will probably need to have time mm. again to come okay. into class. can i say something real quick yeah. uh, one of the things that you notice for support as we are mm -hmm. talking about how do you deal with this what you what you notice about margaret she had a very vibrant faith in God, yes. she be, th that part of faith, the hope, the 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 ability to believe that things can change, mm -hmm. that is what made a difference for her. Because yeah. as I'm listening to her, the whole thing of uh, this is PTSD. We are talking about PTSD yeah. here, mm -hmm. you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome, where she is uh, actually she gets pregnant and suddenly she flashes back, mm -hmm. and so and so you see without even without because she hasn't said whether she went through with psychological counseling, mm -hmm. but what I'm thinking is that her faith really was the driving force yes. and then she had two very supportive women yeah. mm -hmm. there is a difference women yes. very supportive women that walked with her through that mm -hmm. now and, and so next time we will talk about how men grieve because mm -hmm. men yes. also grieve yes. and what they do they fix so her husband fixed the problem by getting another woman. Mm -hmm. They don't go through like us women. We stay in process. and we stay. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. they fix. They go to work. You mm -hmm. come home. You have yeah. buried the child. After two days, I'm going back to work. And you, you are thinking, no, we should be going to Mombasa to relax. Yes. You know, but him, he has to do something. Men are not like us. And so we have to understand that because they, th that does not mean they are not grieving. Mm -hmm. That's the way they grieve. They grieve differently than we that women do. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we women, we will ruminate over it. We want to sit and talk about, think yes. about it, yes. and think about the baby, how we would be holding Look the baby. Look for someone that has gone through Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so her faith and also support groups for, for mothers who have gone through loss of babies mm -hmm. is so important, so healing. And we need to have that. We need to, to let people know yeah. that those things are there for them to get help. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. True. Wow. And indeed that will happen. This is where time becomes so unfair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's that yeah. spent. Yes. But but it's awesome uh, yeah. you know, the, the conversation we've had here. I'm sure totally. there's somebody who was really relating with mm -hmm. what Margaret was mm -hmm. sharing. Mm -hmm. And like we said, this is the talking point of all those things that people who've lost their loved ones yeah. are going through. Mm -hmm. This is where you open up, this is where you get, you know, the answers to mm -hmm. how you can be able to walk through that journey and emerge stronger mm -hmm. and you know, move on with whatever it is you want to do, be it a loss of a, a 
spouse, mm. if you want to get married again, mm -hmm. how will you do that? What are some of the fundamental things you need to do? Yeah. In case you're a parent, you've lost your child, and you want to be a parent again, how do you walk that journey mm -hmm. to make, realizing whatever it is, whatever desire that you have? So this mm, is actually yes. that point that mm. all that is discussed every mm. Wednesday. So join us next week for another conversation like this one. Diana? Yes, yes. Next week, actually, we will have Grace back, so she'll get to answer a bit of the questions. Mm. Uh, we talk about grief among children. Mm. How do we handle our children when, mm. they, when they are grieving? Because yeah. we have teens that mm. are suicidal right now. Yes. You know, actually doing it. How do we walk them through when they have lost someone that they loved? Mm. So Grace will be with us next okay. week. Mm. And uh, we look forward to having that conversation. Mm. And the essence of it is that someone will actually fi find hope, yes. healing, you know, and the, and the zeal to actually live again. Mm. Because once you go through death, you know, life ceases for you. Yeah. So with the show, we hope to attain that. And you know, for today, someone has been edified. Mm. And you know, probably have a better week or even the day, even mm. better than they actually woke up in the exactly. morning. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one thing I've learned from this conversation, it doesn't matter what doctors say. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, if they told Margaret she can't have a, she can't mm. have a, uh, she can't be pregnant. And, and eight C-sections later. Yes. Yeah, I mean, and today yes. she's telling us she is a mother of yeah. two. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. And yeah. thank you so much for watching uh, Beyond Grief. Next week, we come back with another conversation uh, like we've just shared here. So stay and wait for that. But Good Morning Kenya continues after the break. We are having our lifestyle segment of the day as we feature the identical family. They're already in studio this morning looking all alike and confusing us. <laughs> <laughs> but we will be finding out more about how it is to live with somebody who looks exactly like you. <laughs> how you, you walk around and you see a mirror image of yourself. That must be quite a life. So that is coming up right after, after the break. My name is Safina Ching. Keep watching KBC Channel 1. <laughs>